So guys, it turned out that this video is real, but it wasn't the ghost as it was initially claimed. However, the person is deceased in this photo, in the video entirely. Actually, we thought it was staged because of how clean looking it is and how dark the video was, so we couldn't tell so much. However, there's now been a clearer version of the video where it was filmed in daylight, which clearly shows that the person happens to have been feeling of the story where it was said that he died from drowning and was taken to the morgue but somehow seven days later he just shows up on a plastic chair in front of an uncompleted building another thing that is being said regarding this story is the fact that it did not happen in togo but happened in cameroon the initial story the initial reports assumed that it happened in togo they even assumed that he passed in ghana that is he drowned in ghana but was brought back home in Togo for burial. But now it's being said it happened, everything happened in Cameroon, that the young man passed in Cameroon. And sources are naming him to be a young man named Popo Kelvin. But the only problem is, we don't know how he got here. We don't know how he got out of the morgue and how he ended up here. Nobody has that explanation. So this is where people are assuming that he got up and walked down here. This is a clearer version of the daytime where they believe that they were performing some kind of ritual, some kind of rites, before they could take his body back. So over here, a group of people are pouring him what seemed to be juice or powder or something, but it is being said to be the natural practice before they can take the deceased boy back to the morgue, which makes it all the more mysterious because still no one has explained how he got out of the morgue and found his way here. We still don't know the distance between the morgue and here. I sort of assumed people believe he got up and walked and found his way here. People believe he wandered. Remember the story was he drowned in the river and he was taken to the morgue. And a lot of people are saying that naturally when someone drowns in the river, he or she should be buried near the river. However, he since he's not being buried near the river, his body is restless. That is some of the claims we heard online. I don't know what to make of it, it's beyond my expertise, but it's very interesting to see things happen like this and interesting to see how people choose to explain it. Personally, I feel like maybe someone brought him here, maybe somebody wanted to do something with his body. We've seen a story where a woman's body got stolen from the morgue, so maybe someone tried to steal it and could not continue, or maybe somebody tried to rob the body to get some of his organs, you know. It could also be that somebody, you know, in the morgue, or maybe they didn't pay morgue fee and the uh, people who work at the morgue brought him here. There are various ways to explain it. I don't believe he got up and walked down here, but people believe differently. So you guys let me know your thoughts on this. The story seems to be new. Initially, I thought this was an old video of some sort. I didn't know it was happening in real time, literally in real time in this 2024 february i thought this was some video from 2011 12 due to the quality of the initial one but it seemed like this is quite recent and people still haven't gotten the explanation as to how kelvin got here it's quite mysterious